Hi, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com and in this video you will learn how to create 3D core diagram in PowerPoint 2013. The beautiful 3D core diagram you will learn to create today looks like this. <laughs> Isn't this awesome? It's a very simple graphic to create. In fact, you will be surprised at how simple it is to create this graphic once you learn the technique. The first thing you require to create a 3D core diagram is a 3D sphere. Now I'm not going to show you how to create a 3D sphere because I've already created a video called how to create 3D sphere in PowerPoint or 3D ball graphic. You can always go to YouTube and search for this particular tutorial and you'll be able to learn how to create 3D sphere in a step-by-step -step video tutorial. Now I'm going to assume that you've already gone to that video tutorial and learned how to create the 3D sphere. Now once you've done that, the next step is to right click on the 3D sphere, cut it and then right click again and paste it back as a picture. Now this is very important because I'm going to crop this particular picture. Now I'm going to go to the format tab in PowerPoint ribbon, go to the crop tool and I'm going to crop this 3D sphere somewhere till the center of uh, this 3D sphere. Now this is how the picture would look like. Now the next step is to create the concentric circles on top to complete the 3D core diagram. Now for that what I'm going to do is first I'm going to keep this to the side and then I'm going to insert a smart art graphic. So let me go to the insert tab in PowerPoint ribbon, go to smart art and the graphic that I require is under relationship and the graphic is this one called a stacked when diagram. I'm going to press OK. Now that inserts the stacked when diagram. We require five concentric circles. So I'm going to go to the text pane and I'm going to hit enter. Now I have five circles. Once it is done, I'm going to select the bounding box here. Go to the design tab in PowerPoint ribbon and go to convert and say convert to shapes. Now that converts the picture into shapes. Now I'm going to right click, go to group and say ungroup. Now we have five circles all ungrouped. The next step is to make them all look like concentric circles. So I just need to go to arrange, align and say align middle and that will make sure that all the circles are properly aligned in concentric circles fashion. Now to convert this into the surface of a core diagram is fairly easy. All I need to do is to select the outermost circle, go to shape fill and give it red color. Then go to the circle inside that and go to shape fill and give it a white color. Once again go to the circle which is inside that one and give it the same red color you used earlier and repeat the process so that you have this beautiful concentric circles which look like target graphic. Now with this done I'm going to click and drag across all the shapes here and I'm going to press Control G to group them and I'm going to click and drag from one of these corners here so that I can resize it to a reasonably uh, smaller graphic to work with. Once this is done, I'm going to right click on this group and I'm going to go to format shape. Then go to the effects option here. Then go to 3D rotation. And then one of the presets that I'm going to use is under perspective. And I'm going to use this one called as perspective relaxed. Now I'm going to pick this picture that I have already cropped and I'm going to place this right underneath the new graphic that we have created. Now I'm going to hold the shift button down as I click and drag from the bottom right corner to resize the earlier picture. Now you can see that we've got our 3D core diagram pretty much there. Now if you want, you can always select the top surface, go to the effects option and click on the Y rotation here and click on this option called down. As you click here, you can see that the angle is far more in line with what you would actually expect from a 3D core diagram. The best part is once you have the base core diagram, you can always tilt the angle to suit your requirement. For example, I can select this uh, group and then I'm going to hold this rotation handle and I'm going to slightly change the rotation here 
and then when I release you can see that the tilt angle is changed. You can always make it look almost like it faces to the right or to the left it is completely in your hands. Another important thing to note is once you have the basic 3D core diagram ready you can also apply other effects like reflection, shadow etc. You can always select this particular cropped picture here go to the reflection option in the effects here and then go to the presets and select one of the presets called tight reflection touching and now you can see that there is a nice reflection for your core diagram. Now all you need to do is to create a floor by going to the rectangles tool and then draw a rectangular bar that corresponds with the lower edge of the powerpoint slide and right click send to back shape outline no outline and then give it a slight gray color and now you have a beautiful reflection shown of the 3d core diagram you like today's video great just think about this it's one thing to learn powerpoint by picking up useful tips and tricks from different places but if you want to truly master powerpoint and get some meaningful business results you need to go through a structured training program and that is why I created Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. It's arguably the most comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training online. Whether you are a rank beginner or an advanced user of PowerPoint, the lessons inside the program will take your skills to the next level. And more importantly, every lesson inside the program is laser focused to improve your business presentation skills. So please click on the link below in the description area to find out more details about Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. And by the way, as a thank you gift for watching this video this far, I have put together a useful free mini training called Learn 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas to make your slides slick and interesting. If you are a business owner, an executive, a trainer or a consultant, you will find these 25 creative ideas extremely useful. You can sign up for the free mini training by clicking on the button here. I'll also leave a link to the mini training in the description area below this video. So please sign up and I'll see you inside the mini training.